Johnson Controls unleashed its ingenuity, designing, building, and now operating the world's most sustainable campus. We've transformed our 33-acre site into a showplace of innovation, where green, energy-saving features are sprouting on the roof, capturing the sun, and creating comfortable, safe, and sustainable building environments. Each element is part of Johnson Control's master plan to create a workplace in harmony with our natural surroundings in a way that just hasn't been done before. The environmental demands of the projects that I worked on early on at Johnson Controls were much different than they are today. After being here for 31 years, sometimes I pinch myself and think that this is like the dream project. Every day, visitors and employees drive over a parking lot of permeable paving blocks designed to better manage water runoff. Rainwater filters through a gravel base instead of rushing into storm sewers and waterways. But an old landfill created an obstacle. The DNR wanted us really to cap that landfill feature. So what we've done is we've put a, a membrane that really is non-permeable below this whole feature. The membrane safely directs water toward a detention pond that is designed to hold runoff. Water management plays into landscaping choices as well. Johnson Controls is restoring 13 acres as a natural prairie and drawing wildlife back to the area. It's going to be a very beautiful place with a you know, variety of flowers and grasses that are changing as the seasons change. But the kicker is that every little beautiful pea is actually does something. To actually see wildlife coming back to the site, that's been something that I'm very passionate about. And people are actually very excited about it. I and mean, they look at the bullfrogs off the bridge every day and you know there's minnows in the pond and it's gonna be quite exciting. Green energy is helping to power our buildings and reduce our carbon footprint. What we have here is a solar field or a solar array. Johnson Controls is installing a 250 kW system. The 250,000 watts generated from the solar array add to the 135,000 watts of green energy coming from a unique photovoltaic film installed on the roof. Well, here we are on top of the roof of Corporate North, and what you see is the thin film photovoltaic rolls of solar film. It'll virtually cover the entire roof of Corporate North. Johnson Controls also captures solar energy with panels on the roof of Power Solutions, producing 3,000 gallons of hot water each day. In fact, on a sunny day, the combination of solar panels and photovoltaic film creates enough green energy to power one of our seven buildings on campus. And that means we lower greenhouse gas emissions at a rate of 1.1 million pounds per year. Green, to us, refers to more than just energy. Green living plants now cover 12,000 square feet of roof on the amenities building, offering a number of sustainable benefits. 60 to 100 percent of the rainwater that falls onto this rooftop will never hit a drain. It'll be sucked up through the soil, through the plants, and evaporate away. Generally, these are going to be desert plants. There's going to be some onions up here, some small chives. The green roof naturally insulates the building from extreme temperatures and lasts twice as long as a traditional roof. A green roof is going to reflect away all the sunlight that, that gets to it. So instead of heating way up, when you want your building really to be cool during the day, this thing is going to stay ambient temperature. There are roof areas intentionally designed neither as solar producing nor as a green roof. That's because Johnson Controls wanted to capture rainwater for reuse. It flows to a 30,000 gallon cistern below the surface where it's filtered, cleaned and recycled to flush low flow toilets and urinals. That saves 600,000 gallons of water per year. Even underground, Johnson Controls is harvesting green energy. Directly beneath the field of solar panels lies a geothermal system. I like the geothermal solar sandwich that we have. 
because it uses the same footprint and it provides a lot of energy for us. Water flows through 272 wells in a closed loop. The ground naturally cools warm water going to the chillers in the summer and warms cold water going to the heat pumps in the winter. That means less energy is needed to heat and cool the buildings. The combination of green power and energy efficient features allows Johnson Controls to hold the line on operating costs, even though the square footage of the campus has doubled. I mean, it's just so cool just to be able to see all of these features and how they work and how it reduces my operating costs. Efficiency in design and operation sets Johnson Controls campus apart as a LEED Platinum Design Facility, the highest possible designation. LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. LEED to me is a program which enables buildings to be able to be judged and measured against its performances in carbon footprint, sustainability, and energy consumption. This sustainable campus provides smart environments for about 800 employees. People have workspace choices. So you may have a primary workspace, but you also have lots of different choices. They work in bright, naturally lit areas designed to connect them with the outdoors. Johnson Control's own Metasys building automation system monitors every aspect of employee comfort, from in-floor heating and cooling to lighting, fire safety and security, and access controls. Metasys ensures cost-effective operations. I get excited about an individual being able to control their micro-environment with their cube with not having to call Ward and tell them they're hot or they're cold. They're in control. I like the way the building has the ability to interface with the people. The renovation of our 33-acre campus is providing a comfortable, safe, and sustainable environment for our employees, and so much more. It's now a showplace of innovation for customers and visitors, designed to demonstrate our commitment to sustainability and inspire all who come through our doors. We hope that this is really a destination for people to come to and they walk away with something that they can take back to their home, to their workplace and use.